plastic profile, and most of us are not so blessed, what can you do about it? Well, tens of thousands, but thousands of these same people will later say they are victims. Nancy Liu looks at the people who go looking for beauty and end up taking it on the nose. He took too much off right here. He scooped it out, and he didn't take enough off here. So I have a big scooped nose. And worst of all, 22-year-old Kelly Hanna says the nose job she got three years ago left her unable to breathe. I'm always breathing through my mouth. Like when I eat, you know, I have to <laughs> chew with my mouth open sometimes because I just can't breathe through my nose. Let's get her internal nose done. And then so we'll here at the New York Eye and Ear Infirmary, Kelly is about to go under the knife again. This time with a reconstructive surgeon. Dr. Thomas Romo says perhaps thousands of other people who have had nose jobs may be dealing with breathing problems too. Recently, I even had a lady in her 60s who came in and had her nose done 35 years ago who was, has not been breathing through her nose for 35 years. In the older technique, where it was a totally blind technique, the surgeons would reach up in here and just cut cartilage indiscriminately, really not knowing where they were cutting. And it's clear that such practices are responsible for the countless number of collapsed nasal valves being seen now. Though patients are seeking much more natural looking noses these days, in past years many patients asked for the same small upturned looking nose. This woman hasn't breathed through her nose Basically, for six years. You know, I'm just not happy with the results at all. More I can't breathe and I'm constantly having sinus infections. Dr. Jerry Imber is one of the leading plastic reconstructive surgeons in the country. I follow my patients, you know, up to a year, and I have a certain pride of authorship, and I assume that everything is wonderful, but even in a practice like mine, I'm not certain what all these things are like 20 years out. Believe it or not, there has never been a formal follow-up study on people with nose jobs, even though it's the most common procedure in plastic surgery, and doctors have been performing them for over 50 years. In the operating room, it takes five separate implants of natural and artificial cartilage to support and reopen the airways in Kelly's nose. The procedure takes nearly three hours and will cost Kelly almost three times as much as her original nose job. According to this and former to honest, patient, right now, it's all worth it. It's not the nose I've always wanted, but it's a functioning nose and it looks 99.9% .9 better than what I had before this. I can chew with my mouth closed. Just one week later, Kelly is breathing through her nose again for the first time in years. It feels great to breathe. When the packing was taken out, it was, you know, it was weird, you know, there was no clog, it was no, it didn't feel like I had a cold. These noses are out there. Uh, there is the ability to offer these individuals help. How many of these noses are out there? Tens of thousands. Numerous doctors admit that so far this year they've done as many repair jobs as nose jobs, giving patients who have taken it on the nose another chance to simply breathe through it. In Manhattan, Nancy Liu, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.